Hello guys, happy new year. I know, I know. It's been a while, right? I've been in school, but I'm done. I graduated in December and I'm doing a photo shoot for my graduation. That's why I have this wig on. So I'm gonna film the process and that photo shoot is in about two hours. So let's get started. I'm using this 12 inch wig that I gave a bleach bath to and turned it to chocolate brown. I can do a video on that later, but I already bleached the knots and I partially plucked it, but I'm gonna do finishing touches on the plucking. I am obsessed with a natural looking hairline, so you really have to be careful when you pluck. I prefer that I under pluck rather than over pluck because if you over pluck, there's no going back. So what I do is I pluck about the first one inch of the hairline and I just make sure it's all even. Like right now, I'm pretty much picking and choosing which exact hairs have to come out. So on curling this wig, I'm gonna go pretty fast because this is a wig install, not really a wig styling video. And it hasn't changed. I use a curling wand, which is really easy. And I recommend this for beginners and for pros as well, just because it is so easy. So you grasp some hair and you wrap it around the shaft of the curling wand. Well, you comb the hair first and then you wrap it around the curling wand and you hold it in place for maybe five to seven seconds and then you release it and you have your curl. It is really easy and I'm gonna put a link in the description box for the curling iron set that I use or rather the curling wand set. So when you're done, this is what it's going to look like. And for styling, I do not comb. I simply separate my curls. And when I'm done, this is what the curls look like. Beautiful and bouncy, really easy to do. Now we're gonna proceed to cut the lace. To be honest with you guys, I'm scared to cut lace when the wig is already on my head because I'm pretty much bringing something sharp close to my skin in front of a mirror and I can't I can't really see properly, I can't see well, so I'd rather cut the lace off my head following my exact hair. And now it's time to try it on, just to see how it sits, to see if I need to make any adjustments. And uh, it's looking good to me. I think that's gonna work just fine. I'm gonna be applying the wig with glue and for that I do not need any oil on my skin at all so I'm gonna use an alcohol wipe to cleanse my skin and then I'm gonna apply this um, stocking cap over my head normally it should go over my eyes as well but if I do that I'm not gonna be able to see so I'm just gonna place it right there above my eyes even though seeing is still kind of a struggle with it sitting there but I have to do what I have to do so that's got to be spray that's gonna adhere the mesh cap to my scalp. So I'm gonna spray from end to end, just go slowly and smooth it with my fingers. And I'm gonna allow it to dry. It dries pretty quickly, but I'm gonna apply um, some pantyhose. I'm gonna tie it with pantyhose to hold it down and keep it there for maybe 15 minutes so that it really adheres to my scalp. Okay guys, guess what? I forgot to take my ears out. So that's the first thing I was supposed to do right after putting this cap on, but it's not too late. I'm just gonna put a little hole on the cap and then pull my ears out so that I can place the ear tabs. So the area that's close to your ear is usually the most challenging for me. And I'm gonna show you a little issue that I had when I did that area. So I'm just applying pressure and I've taken that off. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this area that's kind of stubborn. You see, it's already lifted and that's really annoying. It's always such a struggle for me, but that's, I found an easy fix. So I just use the spray to place it right back down and then I hold it in place with a comb and then I use a blow dryer on cool. The setting has to be cool. So I just blast that air on it to help it stick back down. So put the air on it just for a few seconds and you can see it's laying back down exactly where it's supposed to be. So that's my easy fix for the ear tap area. And I faced the same problem on the other side and I just did the exact same thing. 
So that's how you fix it. You just apply more hairspray or at least you, um, you go ahead and you stretch the cap to where it's supposed to be. See how I'm pulling on it? So pull it and place it where it's supposed to be and then you spray it and then you hold it down with a comb and the air is gonna hit it between the teeth, the cool setting. I'm gonna apply glue to the wig cap and no, it's not gonna damage my edges. So the glue is sitting on top of the cap and it is not seeping through. I'm not putting enough to go through and actually reach my baby hairs. So it's safe if you put a frontal on and you lost your edges, it was not properly done. As you can see, I'm applying some of the glue to my skin as well, just in front of my hairline. And I'm gonna spread it, and I'm gonna apply about maybe an inch of a width to occupy that space, and then I'm gonna let it dry. It goes on white, but it dries clear. When you're applying the wig, simply place it over the glue. You should never have to pull. Do not pull your wig, like do not pull it all the way from the back and stretch it and then place it upon the glue because the tension is gonna pull it right back. Make sure your cap is the right size so that it just fits directly on top of the glue and then you push it down with a rat tail comb. some extra lace on the corner so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that off that's just for accommodating different head sizes and I am pretty much done oh my god look at this I love it like is that even a wig that is my hair look it's growing out of my scalp this is absolutely beautiful I love it <music> So when it comes to baby hairs, I do not like baby hairs that are in clean cut swoops and clear patterns. I like my baby hairs kind of random. Besides, I'm not a baby, I'm an adult, so I do not like exaggerated baby hairs. So I do quote unquote baby hairs that look more natural. They're kind of random and just a little bit messy. I'm almost done, but I want to show you guys the dress I'm wearing for my photo shoot. It's from ASOS and I got it from Nordstrom, Nordstrom Online, size 12. So this is the final look. Well, not quite final because I still have to do those curls. not attend my graduation because I decided to follow my friends to Jamaica so when I got back I decided to do this and the reason I'm doing this is because when I had my bachelor's degree I did not put on a robe and my dad was disappointed because he loves to see his kids in a graduation robe so I'm doing this photo shoot for my dad I just want him to have a picture of me in a graduation robe so I'm just trying that on I don't know how to put this on but I think I'm gonna have to secure it down with some pins or something, but um, I'm really excited. <music>
of the week is two days old and it's not been starting to lift it is still down pretty secure and i've adjusted those baby hairs to my liking they're minimal because yesterday or two days ago i kind of left in a rush it was not my preference but this is my perfect version of baby hairs right here so thank you for watching <laughs>